This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. The area's top full-service replacement window service, Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania custom builds and installs every window they sell to the strict quality standards Anderson is known for. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, call 717-836-1080 today. Police in Philadelphia are still looking for a group of teens that brutally beat a woman in Center City. Meanwhile, over 300 state employees made at least $200,000 last year. A 911 center is struggling with not having enough staff. Plus, Pennsylvania turns the big 342 this weekend. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. Philadelphia police are still looking for a group of teens, the members of whom they believe are no older than 15, who brutally beat a woman in Center City, reports Fox 29. The attack happened on Thursday, February 23rd, as the 34-year-old victim was on her way to a hair appointment. Someone suddenly tapped her on the shoulder, then smacked her, causing her to fall down to the sidewalk where they proceeded to stomp on her head. They left her lying there unconscious. Although now stable, the unnamed victim suffered from a broken bone and bruising, and needed stitches. The woman's father, Dr. William Corsay, called the teen's actions quote-unquote subhuman, and Fox 29 notes the incident is very similar to another assault that happened just a few blocks away. Says Dr. Corsay, quote, This is not the behavior of a normal juvenile delinquent. PenLive usually conducts an annual roundup of six-figure earners within the Pennsylvania state government, reports PenLive. Since these six-figure earners have grown so much in number, reaching nearly 12,000 in 2021, politics reporter Jan Murphy decided to shift the report's focus in finding how many state employees make at least $200,000. As of last year, that number would be 376 total. Murphy notes that, while 376 is only a tiny fraction of the 98,000 total that work for the state government, it's still 47 more than such earners in 2021. It's also 190 more than in 2020. The report also found that for the first time ever, a handful of state employees made salaries that, quote, racked the half million dollar mark. Luzerne County's 911 center is currently in the midst of a staffing shortage crisis, states the Times leader. It's gotten so bad, in fact, that department managers and supervisors are now helping to take emergency calls. 34 out of 64 of the telecommunicator positions at the location are currently vacant, and of those filled, only 25 can take calls because the others are still in training. And although a union contract the county council approved last year increased telecommunicator starting salaries, 911 executive director Fred Rosencrantz says he's still losing workers at an, quote, astronomical rate. Says he, quote, it's not about the money. They want a work-life balance and to go home at a normal time. This shortage is being felt in counties other than Luzerne, so much so that Governor Josh Shapiro addressed it in his budget speech the other day. It's Pennsylvania's birthday on Sunday, announces PennLive. Happy birthday, Pennsylvania! The Keystone State is turning 342 years old on March 12th, the same day that King Charles II granted a charter to William Penn in 1681, thus officially creating the state, or colony at that time. And in celebration of the momentous event, there are a few museums and historic sites you can visit for free that day. The Pennsylvania State Archives is one, and will have the original charter on display, and the Bushy Run Battlefield is another. To see the full list, you know you can click on that related podcast link. It's Friday, you guys. Friendly reminder that this Sunday is also daylight saving time, so remember to change those clocks. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast either Apple or Amazon and to share it wherever, whenever you can. Thanks in advance, and as always, thanks for sticking with us. I'm Claudia DeMira, and I'll see you lovely people next week for another session of Today in a PA. This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. The area's top full-service replacement window service, Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania custom builds and installs every window they sell to the strict quality standards Anderson is known for. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, call 717-836-1080 today.